What is up guys, this is Smith Rundle Plays, and today we're going to go over three different methods on how to improve your aim in Warzone. The method scale from beginner for quote unquote bad players, medium for below average players, and the highest level is for average players looking to take their game to the next level. All of these methods are completely free and usable in the free version of Modern Warfare Warzone. Before we start, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, link in the description. So, let's begin with Method 1. This entails the Practice Battle Royale mode, which you can find in the Practice Modes and Trials section. This puts you into an endgame scenario against bot players, which can help improve your aim by getting you into as many confrontations as possible. While playing, I do recommend you go for kills, 10 kills is a decent benchmark to aim for every game. In this gameplay, I was playing on keyboard and mouse, which is my first time playing on it, and my aim was trash, and doing this definitely helped me improve my aim by having somewhat predictable and easy to kill targets to battle. This mode will help you nail the basic fundamentals of aiming your sights and aiming down sights as a good stepping stone to battle royale for beginners. Our second method is a step up from the previous one, and uses a brand new Warzone Rumble mode introduced in the beginning of Season 4. In this mode, you will be fighting real players instead of bots, and the enclosed space of the map allows you to get into many engagements. Once again, the more fights you get into, the more experience you'll have while aiming and killing your opponents. In this mode, try to land as far forward as you can and avoid using sniper rifles. Fighting real players is a far more applicable skill to battle royale than the bot practice, but playing with 50 teammates is quite different, so this is more of a game mode just for practice rather than anything sort of serious. The final method for quote unquote average players is to play plunder or, bl or the blood money mode, which is closest to battle royale. In this mode, you play in trios and can loot weapons, but respawn with selectable loadouts, which helps you get into more engagements. You do get into fewer engagements than the previous two methods, but the highest caliber of players outside Battle Royale play Plunder, which means you'll have harder fights and, henceforth, better practice for Battle Royale. With that out of the way, those are some more general methods on how to practice, but here are some tips for applicable in-game that things you can follow to help improve your aim right now. First of all, do not stand still while aiming. 50% of the time, this is how people die. They are moving around not enough, and it's really easy to just aim at them and kill them. It's very simple, and that's not a good way to do it. If you move around, you're less likely to get shot, and practicing aiming while moving around is probably one of the best skills you can practice to be really good in Battle Royale. Second of all, you should practice tracking, or basically following targets with your mouse or joystick. And because that's a very, very, very common scenario in Battle Royale. You can do this in the rubble mode or the bot practice, but exterior programs exist for this such as Kovacs Aim Trainer. I'll probably leave a link to some tutorials on that in the description, but that is paid and not really part of this video. Finally, this pertains to sensitivity, which is probably one of the most hyped up parts of the settings menu for Battle Royale. Basically, you want to fine tune your sensitivity, you want it to be right for you. Personally, on console, I use 5.5 sensitivity, and on PC, I don't remember exactly, it'll be on screen right now, but especially for console, I recommend just testing different sensitivities, I don't know, play like, I don't know, three minutes on 5-5 five, five, and then if you think you can't aim or you think you're like slipping around too much, bring it down to 4-4 four, four. or if that's too still, bring it back up to 5-5, five, five. so you know, uh, especially get used to your sensitivities as well. Uh, you don't want to just use a sensitivity for a minute, say, oh it's trash, and then get rid of it. You probably don't have time to accl acclimatize to it, so you should use it over time uh, to get used to sensitivities, which also helps. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.
Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. I'll see you later. Bye.